Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So in this video, what I want to be talking to you about today is pretty much how the market moves. What I want to be showing you is pretty much an overview of the smart money concepts, a method that I use to get into these trades where there are very small stop losses and getting those, those huge RR trades. Now, the, uh, a full disclaimer, you know, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor or whatnot, but what I am is someone who's passionate about these markets, someone who's passionate about learning every single wick, every single body that forms in this market and pretty much trying to interpret that in a way so that I can share with you a simplification process that hopefully can help you become a better trader. And if you want to learn more uh, in the future, there's more content that I plan on doing in this channel. So if you consider subscribing, I'll gladly appreciate it. Okay, so let's get started. Now, some of you may or may not have heard about this concept, but this is something that goes back, I think like 100 years ago, about this guy called Wyckoff. Uh, you can learn more about his theory um, if you Google it, but pretty much something that they go over is the cycles of prices. And what tends to happen is that the market tends to go over um, certain phases so that, um, you know, big financial institutions, big banks or whatnot can get into positions, pretty much end up deceiving people, not necessarily retail. It could be other, you know, it could be like going against some form of government or going against some other big financial institution and whatnot. Uh, and essentially kind of like tricking them so they can gather their liquidity, manipulate price to a certain direction only to uh, pretty much bring back down. I use Wyckoff in my trading. Wyckoff is its own thing. We can make a different video about that. But for right now, uh, I just wanted to show you this component of the Wyckoff theory and how I apply that into the usage of the smart money. So pretty much this is the backbone, the fundamental, the core of the way I use smart money uh, concepts, right? Which is that the market develops these four phases continuously over and over again. First, what tends to happen is a range, right? Big financial institutions, corporations, governments construct a range from which they are gathering orders from. And once they have no more orders to acquire, it tends to cause a break of structure. We have a structure of a range broken out of the origin from which we have a bullish run bearish run you know and this is when times are good <laughs> what everyone was talking about you know this is where you buy 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 this is when you sell 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 the point is is that we're having a blast of price going up or down into a certain direction in this case we're going to go up and so after a while what what they don't know is that you know price needs to come back down to a certain extent why because the way i've interpreted it is that as these big financial institutions have Hedge their positions, meaning they have a buy and a sell order. You'll realize that the, the higher it goes, their sell position is on the negative, whereas their buy position is on the positive. So what they have to do, and they have, they have to do this so that they don't look suspicious, right? You can't be having price continuously, uh, you know, going off the roof. So in order to not look as shady, in order to follow the rules, um, you have to make it fair for everyone. In the sense that you have to make it so that uh, people can buy and sell at any given price. So when times are good or whatever, there wasn't really a chance for sellers to get into these prices. So in order to make it fair and so that you don't cause any red flags with the feds, uh, you have to go down. And so as this is happening, my opinion is that these institutions are mitigating their buy orders so that they can at least break even here on their sales only to then continue the price for higher. So once they um, close their positions here on the sell, that gets deleted and, and they say, hey, you know what? There's a lot of uh, people willing to buy these prices. So let's just continue going forward. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is the foundation, the backbone of how I interpret uh, smart money concepts. And on this idea, it works because it fits within that theory that I was trying to show you earlier, which is the Wyckoff price cycle. As they're gathering more demand in the market, they mark up the prices only to then create an area of distribution where they're incentivizing buyers and sellers to get into a good position so that the markdown can be easier. Now that we have a general idea as to how the market works and moves, let's see how that applies into real life examples. Okay. So here we have the Australian US dollar 
which is a really good pair in my opinion. I like trading this pair. Let's take a look at some uh, structures and see how they would have played out. So in this case, for example, we have it right here. We have the range that price initiated from only to come back to mitigate, right? Back to the, or the origin of the range only to take it back up high so that you don't, you don't have to believe what I'm showing you, right? In this video, you can go into the charts and do them yourself. We're going to look at a couple more examples. Here's another one. Range, initiation, mitigation. Look at how deep that, that mitigated. So you could have gone here and then look at that kind of risk to reward. Was that almost a four? Look at that. If you manage this trade correctly, you could even go on a five hour trade right there. I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm just trying to show you how this applies to the market over and over again. You know, here's we got this big structure right there that initiated from this mitigation didn't hold. It's not always going to work in the sense that like when prices are mitigating back down to the origin of the structure, sometimes it's not going to hold. And, you know, that's okay because, you know, as a trader, we want to get in on the confirmation of the mitigation. I'm going to show you even more examples as to how these phases develop even on the second ranges. So let's go to the 10 seconds. Go another one right here. Like clockwork, you know, and then you're going to see it over again here. Right. This video is not to show you which ranges are going to be the ones that are going to work. That's going to be for a separate video. Also, another thing I want to show you is another example of how markets are fractal is right. For this whole green move is represented by the 45 minute. Um, and then that's in the short time frame, we have this range initiation, come back down to mitigate here, continue. And then it happens over again. We break structure. Come back down to mitigate, continue. Happens all over again. Break structure, come back down to mitigate, and continue. Because in the higher time frame, this may look like this, but in the lower time frame, we're actually creating the process over and over and over. Um, as well as this whole thing could be constructed because it's probably going to mitigate. Uh, a higher time frame range mitigation is probably because it's just probably mitigating and you know when it mitigates it probably does another range and then it keeps going down learning to see how these markets are effectively moved and pretty much how the process of this smart money concept has can help you understand the markets at a deeper level Knowing that whenever you're going to get involved in, you're more confident in the trade and you're more confident into the way the market moves. So yeah, that's what I want to show you today. Okay. So here's a perfect example of range that got mitigated perfectly. And what ended up happening is a huge sell off, right? But what I want to show you is pretty much whatever is happening up here is happening again, over and over again, uh, in the lower time frame spectrum see right here perfect look at that mitigated we'll make this blue so that you can see a distinction so you see as it's occurring in the lower time frame it's occurring again over and over in the higher time frame which is tied to the bigger higher time frame and there's just so many opportunities for you to get involved in so that um you can pretty much destroy the market and with this understanding, I think it proves a great foundation to the smart money concepts, which is not really the, the best, I guess, strategy that you can use, but it's a strategy that in my experience has given me pretty good uh, entries and has given me entries that are giving me pretty high re rate to reward trades. I hope this video serves its purpose and I hope this sparks an interest into learning more about what smart money has got to uh, offer. Right, I'm no longer really dependent on indicators. See, it's like I'm not. If you want to learn more about this kind of method, let me know. I will be making more videos uh, just like this. So, yeah, hopefully it serves its purpose. And I just want to help you guys out, help you ladies out as well. Pretty much earn as much money as you can in this market because there's just so much opportunity, especially when you start learning this kind of method. Just so much more to get involved in. All right, well, I hope you have a good one. And uh, yeah, we'll talk more in the next video. All right, so take care.